Hello. Looks a bit different, Rob. What have you done with the place? This is no longer the top room in my house. For the very first time, we've left my home. I've travelled across London through some rather challenging traffic, but I was very brave, and I've come to this, which is, well, I'm going to say it's rather exciting. This is a studio belonging to a huge figure from the world of music. I've met him once or twice before, always got on with him rather well. Let's put that to the test now, as we say hello to Noel Gallagher. Already, <laughs> Noel, and I don't want this to be lost in an edit because this reflects well on me, has been paying me and my colleagues a compliment about Would I Lie yeah, to You. Saying that you, what, you ran into David Mitchell. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Would I Lie to You. I think it's the best thing <clears throat> on television and I watch it. But I ran into David yeah, quite a while ago now and he was at a set of traffic lights near Madame Two Swords. I was kind of behind him and I kind of stopped mad around him and went, oh, no way kind of thing. I'm, sure, I'm not sure he actually recognised me. And I was telling him, I was saying that I watched it and he was like, oh, thank you very much. You know, and, I'm so, and, and I walked away thinking, I wonder who he thought I was. Of everybody in my world, he's probably the only one where there is a chance he wouldn't know who you were because he's not across. I think he owns a Susan Boyle record that he had to review. <laughs> And I think he has a Shirley Bassey record. <laughs> We've all got Shirley Bassey. Well, cool. nothing wrong. Hey, there's nothing wrong. wrong with that. Hell of a voice. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having us. It's Pleasure. the first time we've done one of these out of my little room at the top of my house. Right. This is very... I mean, we brought all our rubbish in. Yeah. But it's very stylish, this studio. Oh, thank the, you very much. Oh, it's lovely. The, yeah. the corridor with, with the prints. I was interested to see who you've got out there. Right. Noel has uh, framed prints of people. Rod Stewart in his pyjamas. Yeah, great picture. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Led Zeppelin on Can't stage. That, yeah. Dylan. Yeah. A lot of Beatles stuff. Yeah, of course. Nothing of Bruce. I've told you before, massive Bruce fan. In fact, you and I, we, we didn't meet at this, because I, I always ask guests when we met, you will never remember where we met. I think it was you were very friendly to me at an awards do. And uh, I was surprised at how Brits? friendly you were. Yeah, Brits? I think it was. Because you walked in my dressing room, and we were like, eh, in a way, and then Michael McIntyre walked in afterwards, and I remember saying to him, you're not funny, get out. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? I was like, you patronise Northerners out, which you found highly amusing. Uh, and it was, uh, we were having... That's that the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was at the Brits. Yeah, you were very friendly, and you invited me and Claire to some... Uh, rock and roll after show thing. Of course, we had a babysitter. We had to we, we said, Claire, come on, step away, darling. Step away from, from, from the darkness. <laughs> let's, let's go home. But then, then we ran into each other again at the Isle of Wight Festival. That's right. You were playing and Springsteen yeah. was playing. That's and, right. He and, watched me from the side of the that's stage. That's right. Yes, yes. And I stood watching you at the side of the stage while Bruce Springsteen watched you at the side of the stage a bit for the down and Miami Steve Van Zandt often no also way. stood watching no you. Yeah, well, I like Bruce Springsteen, but I'm not a huge fan because his fans love him. Yeah, right, love him. Yeah. I like. Can I'm I interest you in becoming a huge fan? Well, I like I'm on fire and Dance in the Dark and all the you know the best yeah. of Bruce Springsteen. That's <laughs> What's what your I, favorite <laughs> album? Yeah, his the greatest best, hits. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a few years ago, uh, we we were in Ibiza and we were on the island of Formentera and uh, we were with. Uh, Mick Jagger's daughter, Jay Jagger. <clears throat> I remember in a big lunch at this thing, and uh, the night before she said, "Oh, is it all right if my godfather comes with a few friends?" The lunch tomorrow. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Uh, so we get to this lunch thing, and uh, she's on the phone, and she's saying, "Oh, they're just pulling up in a in a in a boat now." And I was like, Who, "Who's your godfather, by the way?" And this huge yacht, and she says, "Oh, just like that. Oh, Calvin Klein." And I'm like. <laughs> The car and I had a pair of Calvin Klein undies <laughs> on at the time, right? And uh, they're on they're on the way on one of those little speedboat things. And she said, "Oh, and he's bringing Bruce Springsteen," and I was like, "Fucking hell, no way!" And uh, there was a kerfuffle at the table. I'm like, "Where's he going to sit?" And I was like, "He's going to sit here beside me because I'm going to become his friend." And uh, <laughs> I have to tell you. It's one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my entire life. And I said, look, let's do a selfie and send it to Bono because it will ruin his day. Because him and Bono are great friends, right? As are me and Bono, right? And Bono loves him. And uh, so we sent this thing 
this is happening right now. Within <laughs> 10 seconds, he was on the phone. Where, where are you guys? Where are you? How long would it take for a chopper to get there? I'm like, where are you? He's like, I'm in France. It's like, no, we're in a yeah. different country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever met him? Yeah. He's a great guy to hang out with, and his piece of work is brilliant. And at the end, he was saying to me, you should write a book. And I was like, nah, I don't know. He's got no, you should write a book. You've got a voice and you've got a lot to say. And I was like, well, if Bruce Springsteen says I should write a book, maybe I should get someone to write a book for me. Maybe I should get someone to write a book for me. <laughs> yeah. Right. But you will write a book eventually, won't you? I don't think so. Yes, I you will. Know. Of course you well, will. Well, I've got I, a few mates of mine have written books and I've been around them while I've been doing it. And it just seems like a lot of work and it consumes their life. Yeah, but I think you'll get to a point where you'll want to put it all down, won't you? Maybe, I suppose, I suppose, yeah, I mean, I still think I'm a bit too young to write my life story, yeah. but maybe in 20 years' time. So, we're, I'm older than you, I'm two years older than you, I'm 56, you were born in 67, right. I was born in 65, so we grew up then, pretty much yeah. the same sort of time, yeah, yeah. so we're both watching Top of the Pops, and we're both watching uh, Slade, Yeah. and who was standing out for you, and who were you watching and thinking, oh, that's what I want to do? Well, I first started to really get into music when the punk thing happened. So it would have been, so it was 77. Was it, well, really? That, yeah. yeah. So you would have been 10. I would have been 10. 70, yeah, going to secondary school is where it all kicks off for music. It was, so it would have been the jam right. and the Clash never appeared on top of the Pops and neither did the Pistols. So it would have been all that new wave stuff, like yeah. jam and talking heads, Blondie. I don't know why it took me till the 90s to work out that they weren't French. <laughs> right, because they would always have a French because Denis was, yeah, well, they'd always have yeah. French versions of their that's songs, right, right. Yeah, they did, yeah. I remember meeting the drummer in New York and he was like, New Yorker, and I was like, Oh, you're not French then? He was like, What are you talking about? And I was like, I thought you were French. And he was like, Well, why? And I was like, Because didn't he sing something French? He's going, Well, that's for the French market. And I was like, So you're not French, you're all from New York. And he was like, No, and I, I just assumed that there was sort of the French. Vibe going on. People don't do that anymore, do they? Because they look French. But but doing the you know the other the Beatles used to record stuff in German. In, in German. Bowie used to do a bit in German. And ABBA, you can hear a lot of ABBA songs in in all sorts of languages. Yeah. yeah. It's never never occurred to you to do it. Not sure Liam would have been thrilled about doing anything in Welsh. <laughs> yeah, well, Welsh should be a curious language. <laughs> live, uh, forever, live forever in yeah. Welsh. Also got I now mean, the... Actually, it needs to be heard. <laughs> of all the languages to choose. <laughs> Who are the ones you've met that made you a little bit... <gasps> Billy Connolly. Oh, yeah. Uh, I met him in Harrods. <laughs> Did <laughs> you? Of all places. These um, two working-class yeah. boys meeting finally um, in Harrods. Are we my wee brother? The show in Harrods. And I was like, no way, Billy Conley. Um, I met George Harrison Did you? Uh, at um, a bonfire at the house of one of Deep Purple. This is a, this is a 90s story. Wow. And uh, George, we were sat around this big bonfire, and George came over and said, Would you like to share a Heineken? And I was like, oh, fucking wedding, George Harrison. Um, Neil Young. Yeah. I was. I was bit starstruck by Neil Young. But Paul McCartney is a, is a funny one because he's so disarming, right? Yeah. It doesn't really hit you until maybe like a week after you've been in the news agency and you see a picture yeah. of the cover of Mojo yeah. Yeah. and the Beatles are on it and you go, oh, I wasn't with Paul McCartney the other night. Yeah. I was with one of the Beatles. Yeah. And then you just like, fucking yeah. hell. You know, but, well, Paul um, McCartney, there's, there's almost too much to take in, isn't there? You, you can't, while you talk to him, you can't really... Because he has existed since. Well, yeah, he's been he's been in all of our lives since the day we were since born. Since the yeah. day we were born, yeah. and never any less prominent, and just this pillar of yeah. kind of British cultural yeah, yeah, yeah. public life. So, so that was music. Now, then, let's quickly because we don't have all the time in the world. Uh, comedy, uh, and you've told this you told this story to me once, and I loved it, and you've told it publicly. But let's have it again. The Jerry Seinfeld experience oh. was, was sounds, because yeah. he's one of my big heroes. Me too. Sounds fantastic. For my 50th, unbeknownst to me, Sarah said to me, oh, we're going to New York for the weekend on the such and such a day. And I was like, why? And she went, it's just nice to go to New York. A pair of us will go. And I was like, oh, OK. So on the plane, she says, well, the real reason why we're going to New York is I've got a surprise for you for your birthday. And I was like... I hate, I cannot stand surprises. Why? Why? I, 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 can't, I, I Why? just can't deal with it. I, can't, I don't know. I can't deal with it. I'm, I love I'm, a surprise. So I'm like, what is it? Well, I'm not telling you, it's a surprise. 
come on, come on. All the plan, all the way. I'm like a child. Come on, what is it? Tell us what it is. She said, no. And, and she was making it worse. She's going, it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> and I'm like, and it's driving me mad on the plane. I'm like, what is it? We arrive and then it's the next night. So we get in a car and we're going uptown. And I'm like, please, please just tell me what it is. Just give me a clue. Just so I'm prepared. <laughs> And then so and I'm saying, I swear to God, if we go to a fucking restaurant, right, and every fucker from Manchester and London is in there, right, and you've flown them over, and we could have did this in Manchester. I'm going to be, she's going, oh, no, it's going to fucking blow it all, And it was bit me so mad. So we come in uh, up to, I can't remember, it's a, it's a theatre that I've played quite a few times. Was it the Beacon? It might have been the Beacon, yeah. And... But we went went round the back and there was two security guards and we get out of the car and there's two security guards and they've got this, uh, Mr Gallagher, here's your laminates, the show's about to start. And it, only then did it dawn on me that it was Jerry Seinfeld. So as we walked in to the side door and sat on the front row, on he came. And I've never seen him live and it was always a dream of mine to see him. And every time he came to London, I'd be in yeah. fucking Brussels or something. And um, on he came. And it was great. He's glorious. Uh, isn't he? Oh, he's just he's the, so, he's the his, best. His economy, his phrasing, his, his tightness. About, you can split the world into two groups: those that get him, <laughs> and those that don't, and those that don't get him. I've got no time for them. Right. You know, I remember watching it all through the nineties, and Liam would be like, "It's not funny," and he's like, "I hate the bass thing." <laughs> oh. that thing. I hate it. Can't stand it. And uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so the gig finishes and he gets a standing ovation, and I was like, "Thank you so much." As he said. Oh, that's only half a surprise. And I was like, well, she said, now we're going to go meet him. And I was like, fuck off. Now, I didn't know this, but we have a mutual friend who's a friend of Jerry's wife. And this friend of ours had put those two together and she'd organised it for us. So we get backstage and in that theatre, there's a lift from the side of the stage that goes up to the dressing room. Right. Real old school. There's his missus, I think her name's Jessica. She's meeting both me and my wife for the first time. And she's going, oh, it's great to meet you. And did you enjoy the show? It's great. So we get, she said he would be along in a minute. And uh, we get in the lift and in, and it's a tiny lift about as big as this table. And in walks Jerry. <laughs> and he's like, hey. <laughs> and uh, she's going, Jerry, this is the guy I told you about from London. It's his birthday. And he was like, I don't think he told me. You know, and she was like, no, I told you, it's Guy from Birthday. It's a, a friend of ours called Guy. It's Guy's friend. Anyway, we went up to his dressing room and I'm not sure he knew who I was right. or even gave a shit. And uh, as we left and we got back in the car, I turned to Sarah and said, I'm going to tell you now, do not expect anything approaching that for your 50th. <laughs> you know. So I can't come up with shit like that. Tell me what you've got, what, what, what the future is. Uh, you, you'll, you haven't asked, but I'll tell you. I'm about to go back on tour <laughs> with a band, old-fashioned, <laughs> light entertainment, songs, and if you want to come oh, along, I'll be there. Don't worry please, about that. I'll um, come along. play in the Palladium in November oh, if no you way. want to come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'll be here there. I'll don't hold me. you to that, Noel. Well, I will come. I've got it me. on tape. No, You'll sing a song with me. me. That's incredible. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> what, what's, what's coming up for you? Uh... Um, well, this is my, obviously it's my studio. I'm writing halfway through writing a new record, and then um, got this Oasis documentary of Never yes. coming out. Uh, I think it's in a couple of weeks. I've seen it now a couple of times, and it's a fascinating watch um, because it's a snapshot of the last great gathering ah. of people before the internet. So there's no phones, yeah, right, right? No camera right. phones. I mean, there's lots of you know, you see a sea of 125,000 people in the moment with the band. Nobody's filming. Nobody's texting anybody. Yeah. How do you feel when you watch yourself in your uh, well, pomp? For that particular night, I was getting very carried away. I was, uh, I was hell bent on letting everybody know that this was a history-making moment uh, for British music. Wow. I must have mentioned it about wow. six or seven times. And when I was watching it back, I was saying to the God. to the guy, "Can we cut this out?" And he was saying, "Not really." Oh. And, uh, and I was, you know, I was. I was ramming home the fact that it was history, and of course Liam was taking the piss all the way through. But it was because you knew it was historical. Well, it was, yeah. We, it, where you they were, were, you the, had that self-awareness yeah. to know that this was a thing. Well, it was the biggest gigs that had ever taken place, and I was going to make sure that everybody was aware of that, and that my part in it was the biggest part in it. Liam is very, 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 very good in it. Is him at his absolute peak, right. and um, it's the great snapshot of that band 
at its peak with playing those two albums. Yeah. I was kind of in a bubble with Oasis. I, I knew what it meant. I knew the records sold a lot, so they must mean something. I never really allow myself to get into the moment with like what it actually yeah. means to people. So it's a good job there's 25 years gone, and I was like, wow, we were, we really did, we meant something to meant, people. That's what I was going to say. You meant something yeah. to people. And, and, and when, uh, when people, the, the musicians that people are, you know, like Bruce for me, uh, it means that it's like a relationship. Yeah. You feel like you have a relationship with them, and yeah. they've been there with you through good times and bad. I've taken up enough of your time. You're going to want to tidy up after us being here. You're a tidy man. I respect that. So am I. Kids have gone back to school. It's time to be tidy again. Noel Gallagher, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Let's shake hands again. Pleasure. <laughs> thank you.